Supper for All Families, it's Miss T with your Composer of the Week. This week's composer is Debussy. Debussy was born in 1862 and was known for being an Impressionist composer. So what is Impressionism? Think about Van Gogh's Starry Night or Monet's Water Lilies. In the simplest terms, Impressionism is like painting a feeling rather than taking a perfectly accurate picture. And even though Debussy didn't like that term when applied to any art, not just his music, I think it makes a lot of sense when you pair together his music and Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. Let's take out a video pairing those two things and I think you'll really understand why it gets the term Impressionist. wrote, we must agree the beauty of a work of art will always remain a mystery. We can never be absolutely sure how it's made. We must at all costs preserve this magic which is peculiar to music and to which music, by its nature, is of all the arts the most receptive. So this is a super French point of view and I struggle with it as a teacher because we know how music is made, right? And I don't think we should be making it out to be this unreachable, unteachable, you're born with it or you'll never get it mentality. But the artist in me really believes in this je ne sais quoi element, which is basically like the secret sauce, which makes music writing more of your heart and soul rather than just your brain. Like it's not exactly math, right? As for his operas, he really only finished one complete opera, Pelias et Melisande, which is a story about forbidden love. Let's take a listen. Wow, what I really love about this is she has no underscoring and it's one of the most beautiful lines and one of the most beautiful phrases in the entire opera. So, Pelleas and Melisande premiered at the Manhattan Opera House and then its neighbor, the Metropolitan Opera House, said, okay, that was super successful. Debussy, we would like to give you money to write three operas for us, which he started. He also started work on an Orpheus and Eurydice opera, an As You Like It opera, and a Tristan and Isolde opera, but he never finished any of them. Some of these works he had been working on for more than 10 years at that point. All in all, WC gave us a really beautiful, distinct style of music, and he was also able to push opera forward, which was really not an easy task because at the time he was going up against guys like Wagner and Camille Saint-Saëns. The result is music that is tender and full of emotion, which is something that can get lost in service to the drama of an opera. Okay guys, that's it for me this week. I'll see you next time.